Hi everybody, welcome back to another balloon tutorial. Today we're going to be twisting this wand right here. You can see it uses three balloons. Um, you may have to use some more if you're going to get the hat out of this, but um, I'm going to do my best to make it all out of three balloons. That's one red, one white, and then the uh, green printed balloons you can see right there, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the balloons really quick. Thanks for being here again, by the way, I appreciate it. And you know, one thing I was looking over is uh, my Patreon. I uh, think uh, thank you for you guys that kept supporting it. I really appreciate it. And so um, let's go back to the balloons, okay? All right, so I left quite a bit of a, you know, about a hand's grip there. And then let's see the same for this, actually about a hand's grip, ha ha. Okay, so the same for both, which is really nice. And I gave them a good squish too, okay? So they're nice and soft, all right? And then the printed balloon. I'm not gonna blow it up just yet because, um, actually I probably should now think about it because I am gonna tie that end, uh, the red onto the end of the uh, the, the uh, part for the hat. I'm gonna tie it under the quick link here, okay? So let's go ahead and do that right now. Um, if you have just come in here to my videos and never been here before, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the sound down and I'll do voiceover during that time so we can minimize the squeaking and maximize the teaching. Okay, so here we go. Let's bring that sound down. Let's get started. So let's go ahead and blow up that green balloon. You can see, not a bad size, pretty easy. There we go. And so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna work on the hat and then we'll make the bottom part, okay? So for some of you guys, you already are familiar with all this stuff and um, you, maybe you don't need to watch this, but for everybody else, stick around. Here we go. I'm tying these two together, the red balloon. There we go. And it was just a simple knot. It wasn't anything, you know, crazy or weird. And then I'm just going to loop that white balloon around there, about four fingers there. And this is kind of important, at least for me, is I'm wrapping around that balloon around there pretty good. And then I'm going to go ahead and pull that knot through there a couple times because I really don't want that coming undone on me, okay? And then we'll go ahead and create ourselves a pinch twist. That bubble's about two fingers, I would say. Finger and a half. There we go. Alrighty. And we're just gonna bend that over and it's going to twist in where that pinch twist is. Mm -hmm. Make sure it goes in there. There we go. And then I'm gonna twist those two around each other, the red and the white, a couple times. Again, I don't want to lose any of my work here, so make sure they're nice and secure. And I'm looking at the ends there, just checking the, you know, to, just to see how much air we have left in there. I'm going to go ahead and break off the white balloon first. Don't want to lose that, so I'll go ahead. And you know what? Also, I left out a little bit of air when I did that. I, I let out a little bit of air before I tied it. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same with the red. So in a sense, I guess you could look at it as I, I burp it a little bit. There we go and then tie that off and for both of them we're going to do the same thing we're going to create ourselves two loops and they're about three fingers two to three fingers there we go and so we get a second loop and then we're going to do turn around and do the same thing with the white balloon and throughout the whole process i'm you know keep an eye on the ends of the balloon to see about where they are more or less okay now let's twist those two together there we go, and I'm just, again, checking the end, see where we're at, give them a nice squeeze, realize the balloon is still pretty soft, which is good, because I know it can get a little nervous, <laughs> or a little nerve-wracking, or, or whatever, it makes you feel a little anxious if you feel the balloons are pretty tight, so here we go, let me go a little closer here, because uh, I'm going to start winding the balloon around and around and around, so let me go over here and just watch my hand position, okay, and I'm keeping, trying to keep the balloons really tight to one another as I work my way up to the end there, there we go. And I'm just gonna twist that, and I am definitely gonna lock that because I don't wanna lose it. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up, I'm gonna pass the red balloon through. And once I do that though, I am gonna wind them around each other one more time, just to make sure. There we go, I feel pretty good about that. And so the last thing I have to do now that I already worked on the, the top portion of it is I just have to twist that nozzle into the top of the wand. And we are done. There it is. Thanks for sticking around. Let me go ahead and tuck those tails in from the hat. You can see sometimes they're sticking down there and I don't know, little things like that. I definitely want to clean them up. Alrighty, and no drawing in this one, which is really good. Again, thanks for sticking around. 
we made it to the end and just like that we are done so um definitely make sure on this one and i probably said in the voiceover i'm sure is make sure that you work on your proportions and keep them as consistent as possible and you'll be able to make this like you said you saw here uh, out of three balloons and you don't have to worry about getting some more balloons to do this part but you know what if you got a lot of balloons and you don't care then it doesn't matter <laughs> so anyway uh there it is right there Thanks for hanging out. I really appreciate it. And if you like this, uh, comment down below and say, I like it. I might use it. That'll be kind of cool. And if you don't, that's okay too. No big deal. At least you can, you know, make yourself like a little candy cane wand and put something else on top. Either way, it's going to work for you. All right. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Happy twisting. Bye.